Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back from another video. And today we're going to be watching the story of Vegemite, Australia's favorite spread. I have heard a lot about Vegemite in the past, and I've heard a lot about how controversial it is. Some people like it, some people hate it. Now, I believe about a year ago, I tried Marmite, which is something that's, I guess, popular in the UK. Not sure about its popularity in Australia, but I absolutely hated it. It was the most rancid, salty, and just disgusting thing I've ever tried. I, I had to spit it out right away. Uh, that's just a personal opinion. Again, no knocks on anyone who likes Marmite or Vegemite. Would like to try Vegemite just to say I've tried it sometime in the future so we can make that happen. Maybe make a video out of it. That'd be pretty entertaining for you guys. Not for me. Maybe. Hey, I can't make an opinion on it until I've tried it, so let me not say that. But yeah, we're going to be reacting to the story of it how it came about, I guess, some of the history behind it, since it is such a popular commodity in Australia. You always hear about Vegemite. Um, and with that being said, guys, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and let's get right into it. What's one thing that Australians love to eat on their toast for breakfast? An umami-flavored, vitamin B-packed, tar black, salty spread, Vegemite. This spread is said to be found in nine out of 10 homes in Australia. It is a point of national pride. But how was this saliferous spread created? How did it become so popular? And what does it taste like? Our story begins in the late 19th century with this guy, Eustace von Diebe. Old mate Eustace discovered that yeast extract left over from brewing beer could be concentrated down into something that was somewhat edible. A few years later, in 1902, in Burton-upon-Trent, England, the Marmite Extract Company was formed which produced Marmite an edible salty yeast paste developed from Eustace Discovery. Sales of Marmite were pretty good, and in 1908, the Sanitarium Health Food Company, known today for another iconic Aussie breakfast food, bought the rights to distribute Marmite in New Zealand and Australia. During World War I, the supply of Marmite to Australia dried up. So in 1922, in Melbourne, a man called Fred Walker commissioned the chemist Cyril Callister to come up with an alternate salty yeast spread. Callister got to work using the leftover yeast extracts from the local Carlton United breweries. After several months, he perfected his recipe using onion and celery extracts and loads of salt. But the invention needed a name. So in 1923, a competition was run to name the new spread. The winning entry was pulled from a hat and Vegemite was born. And then nearly tanked. What? Since the war coming to an end, the original Marmite was back on shelves, and Australians were wary of the new kid on the block. In 1928, following dwindling sales and in one of the most cringe-inducing marketing fails known to humankind, Walker rebranded Vegemite as Parwill. Because if Marmite, Parwill. Oh, God. The experiment <laughs> was short-lived. <laughs> he could have... Yo, he could not have done that better. <laughs> no, that's a failure. It is interesting, though, to see the, uh, I guess, British ties with this whole thing. That I didn't even know it was like that, really. I, th I thought there would be some type of connection, but wow. But that is a fail. That is a fail. <laughs> the experiment was short-lived, although this wouldn't be the last time Vegemite was the victim of a branding snafu. What? After There's the unrebrand... No rebrand Walker decided to give the spread away free with processed cheese. This catapulted the popularity of Vegemite, because hey, who doesn't like free stuff anyway? A few years later, Vegemite was added to the ration packs for Australian soldiers during World War II. Vegemite quickly became a patriotic symbol during wartime, and this further boosted its popularity back home. Kraft Foods eventually took over control of Vegemite, and manufactured it for over 80 years. But in January 2017, Vegemite's owners became Australian once again, when Bigger hey. Cheese acquired Vegemite as part of a $460 million deal with Kraft. In 2018, Vegemite is still being produced in Melbourne, Australia. So what does this delicious black sticky paste called Vegemite taste like? Well, salty. Vegemite has a salt content of approximately 8.6%. For comparison, the average salinity of seawater is 3.5%. <laughs> Vegemite oh is also high in glutamic acid, which gives it a rich umami flavour. If you don't know what umami is, it's that deep, savoury flavour that parmesan cheese, miso soup and MSG have in common. 
In 2011, US President Obama had this to say about Vegemite. It's horrible. It's like a quasi-vegetable byproduct paste that you smear on your toast for breakfast. But Australians enjoy this beloved spread in multiple ways. The most common way is on toast with loads of butter and a thin, thin layer of Vegemite on top. Other ways include in a sandwich with cheese, with avocado on toast, or baked into a cheesy scroll. And finally, Vegemite has spawned many branded spin-offs, the most noteworthy of which was in 2015, when Cadbury created an unbelievably strange and no way. delicious bar of chocolate that was filled with Vegemite-flavoured caramel. Needless to say, this experiment was divisive and short-lived, but demonstrated the versatility of this Australian staple. So that's the story of Vegemite, Australia's mighty black spread with a colourful intercontinental history. I've linked some Vegemite related videos in the description, but before you go off and watch them, please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and leave me a thumb if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Wow, what an excellent video. Make sure you guys go subscribe. Ticket to know. That was an amazing video. Uh, but I gotta say, I would definitely try out some Vegemite. If it were super lightly put on toast, lots of butter, and avocado. I say super lightly. I know it lightly is the common thing to do, but super lightly for me. Because based on the sounds of this video, it doesn't sound like Vegemite is too different from Marmite. Now, please don't quote me on that. Don't roast me in the comments because I said that. Just based on my knowledge after trying Marmite and what was said in this video. Because it does seem like Vegemite, in a sense, was derived from Marmite and the techniques that actually created Marmite. So they have to be a little similar, don't they? Um, let me know in the comments who's who's a Vegemite eater. It's okay. Just admit to it. I, I won't look at you any differently. It's all right. And who isn't a Vegemite eater? Maybe an Australian. Like, if you're Australian watching this, do you hate Vegemite? It's an interesting take on things. But I can definitely see how the popularity came about with it being... Uh, a wartime snack, which it really is a perfect wartime snack. Snack. It's stuffed with vitamins, very accessible, great for soldiers abroad who don't have much time for a meal. Uh, but yeah, I see how the popularity with like the patriotism and it becoming a routine in people's lives, and from there, boom. <laughs> Some of those marketing takes were uh, interesting to say the least. But yeah, I don't know if I would have done that if I were the uh, marketing chairman or whatever, whoever runs that. Glad to hear it's back in Australian hands. Hopefully, I'm not going to judge that too much because I don't know about the company or how good of a company they are. But it's always great to hear that things are back into the hands of the original owner because Kraft is just a huge conglomerate corporation. I mean, they're basically taking over the world at this point. Anyways, along with a few others. But with that being said, guys, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Make sure you guys drop some... Uh, future reaction video ideas in the comments down below maybe something we haven't touched on with australia or if there's a place country city whatever the case may be that you want me to take a look at in the future because we will be moving not necessarily moving away from australia but definitely trying out some new things coming up real soon so i'm excited for it i hope you guys are excited hope everyone watching this is doing well and with that being said i'm gonna catch you all in the next video peace